I'm so done with these fucking wires. I find my computer. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. So, uh, there was a game that came out this week. I'm not sure if you've, if you've heard of it. Uh, Spider-Man 2. Uh, and ever since the game has came out, I have lost all sense of time and days. I have spent a week just living by my PS5, playing it and trying to 100%. Because, goddammit, there's so much to do. And all of it is very fun. Now, with the success of the first one, uh, we all kind of figured that the second one was going to be good. Or the, the, thir the third one, technically. And it is. It's completely wonderful. It's an amazing game. And it was everything that I'd hoped to be. Uh, there is gonna, there's, there's probably gonna be some light spoilers, but I'm not gonna go to anything too deep in the story. I just genuinely want to talk about the gameplay and the aspects that uh, I have thought about and want to talk about with you guys today. So I figured, you know, let's get into swing into it. <laughs> God damn it, let's swing into it. And uh, my name is Cambodia. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you could uh, maybe subscribe and tell someone about me. But other than that, let's get right into it. So, uh, the game follows Peter Parker, you know, after the events of, uh, the Miles Morales game, and they're kind of teaming up for the first time, and this is where there's, you, you get to play as both of them. Now, I was kind of worried about how they were going to do this, and, uh, they, they executed it perfectly, as far as I can tell. Uh, there's missions that were made for Miles, and there's missions that were made for Peter, and they split them up very evenly, and both of them have their own side stories that that make you feel like just, that make you feel, all right? Some of the side stories in this game will have you questioning yourself as a human in the best ways. And uh, it it shows the human side of what being Spider-Man is in the best way possible, if that makes sense. It doesn't necessarily only show the superhero part. It shows the everyday task that Spider-Man does with civilians around the city and how he interacts with them. And I was very pleased to see that Miles has a completely different way of interacting with citizens than Peter Parker does. And that they both have their own very unique personalities. Copy and paste of Peter Parker as a character. But they completely fleshed out his character in a expert way with his side quest and his part in the story. That really makes you get a sense of who he is and what his morals are. And... He's just a high school kid trying to be good, but he's also has the entire complexity of being a superhero, so it becomes difficult at times. So in terms of story and character writing, wonderful, amazing. Uh, it shows parts of Peter Parker that we've never seen before and um, makes you, it even goes back to some of the earlier comics and kind of relates to him as a character from that point of view. Uh, and it's it's just, you can tell Insomniac really wanted to explore Peter Parker as a character rather than the superhero. It's not just Spider-Man in this game. It's him as a person. Now, in terms of gameplay, uh, the swinging is still very good. I was very worried that the web wings were going to kind of make web swinging obsolete, but they were entirely smart with how they did that, and there's actually air tunnels that uh, boost you with your airspeed, making web swinging still a very viable option whenever you're going around the city. And the map is much, much bigger. So you do need a faster traversal method for this big of a just a fucking gargantuan map. Now typically in a Spider-Man game, you're limited by the bridge. You know, you're limited to Manhattan. You see a bridge, you know that you're not allowed to go over that. That's a no-no zone. You can't, no. However, this game, you can go to all of New York. So the way they got to traveling faster was with Websuit. And uh, you're actually able to travel up to three times faster uh, in terms of raw like movement units uh, than the first Spider-Man game. Which I saw some people complaining about the movement in Spider-Man 2 saying that they were unhappy with it. Which I get, but also I don't. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Uh, the, the movement in Spider-Man 2 is wonderful and feels very fluid and they've added even more skills to make it more engaging and fun. The slingshot is such a simple thing, but it's just like in every Spider-Man movie, and it's, I'm so glad that they added it into the actual mechanic. Um, the combat is uh, completely expanded upon from the first and second game. 
Uh, there's more abilities. There's more just enemy types. There's just more variety in general. The, the, the some of the some of the enemies will will absolutely destroy you if they catch you off guard. And there's even like a new parrying system. And with the new enemy types, y you will die. Uh, it takes some time getting used to them, but once you get used to them, they're very fun. In terms of suits, the variety of suits is massive for both characters. Both characters have their own entirely unique roster. Um, and some of them are gas, and some of them are pretty awful ass sh shit. But that's the price you pay for them putting in even more variety, which you can't really complain about. It's just, it's cool that we even have... It's crazy to me that we exist in a time period where we can play this. If you showed this to a, a Victorian child, it would blow their mind. Um, I also find it funny that uh, the theater that one of the Insomniac employees used to propose to his wife in the first game is now a heart clinic. It's a little on the, <laughs> a little on the nose, but, you know, feels bad, man. Um, and the story isn't just purely in the main story of itself you can catch the glimpse of kind of future endeavors through some of the environments and uh some of the other marvel characters that are also in new york city i don't want to i don't want to just ruin it but as you know hell's kitchen is in the game matt murdoch was in the last game and it's just you can obviously tell that they're setting up to like kind of bring other characters into the franchise yuri lowenthal wants to bring deadpool into the franchise which i think that would be so gas. That would be so odd. Please. Um, a lot of the side stories are also setting up for either DLCs or the third game. Uh, we're not going to get the third game for a while. I'm pretty sure Wolverine is what's coming out next. So, that it is what it is. But I'm so excited for the Wolverine game, as is. Uh, they're sticking to the comics, doing R-rated stuff. And that's really what I applaud Insomniac for doing with all of their Spider-Man and superhero games in general so far is they do stick heavily to the comics and listen to the fans for what they want. And this is the result. And it's, it's very nice. Very nice. You like, you can't tell me that the 12 year old self of me did not want to swing around New York City in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man suit constantly doing the point to da da song. I'm gonna do that. That's all I've been doing. So thank you Insomniac for allowing my my 12 year old self to be at peace and play this game that means a lot um you know the only aspect of the game so far that i've seen people talking about that they've messed up is is the puerto rican flag in miles morales apartment which is really funny that that's like the thing they messed up you know combat amazing gameplay great story very compelling uh you know just overall city detail insane you can look up an address in New York City and go find it in the game, and it looks relatively very similar or the same. Um, Puerto Rican flag, though, is, is what we messed up on, which is funny to me. But, um, yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. Uh, Spider-Man 2 is wonderful. I have heard some criticism of it. Me, personally, I have very much enjoyed the game, and I am very glad that this is what we got. Uh, some people are saying the story is underwhelming, but... I don't think so, and I also think that it is important to not do what I did and rush through the game because I am, again, I, I like to make content, so I figured I should play through the game quickly and kind of get my thoughts on it. If you're the average person, take your time and uh, enjoy it for what it is because Insomniac did spend a lot of time on it and they would want you to really soak it in and enjoy all the work they put into it. So. If you rush through it in three days, you've waited four years for like three days. So just take your time, man, and enjoy the experience for what it is. But uh, my name is Cambodia. Uh, always take care of each other and always love one another. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.